Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the FDM Trading Podcast. Uh, my name is Brian Dunwoody with Alan Ast. Um, I got some news that actually I didn't even tell Alan this. Um, oh, nice. Some of you may have seen, and actually, if you look closely at Alan's background, I don't see it right now. There's a Daniel Gomez cup. Um, Daniel yeah. is a motivational speaker, a podcast member, um, has several sticker shocks uh, sessions that you can go to uh, basically to improve, um, improve being a professional speaker. So I actually have a session with Daniel set up for Friday, I believe. I'm gonna have to check my um, check my calendar, but um, but yeah, I am sitting now with Daniel Gomez, uh, hopefully to improve upon this podcast. Uh, we'll see what his suggestions are. Uh, make it a little more professional, tidy it up for you guys. Um, I know that you guys already get a wealth of knowledge, um, and hopefully, with Daniel's help, I can polish this and and uh, make it more professional for you guys. Um, happy holidays. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I am so full of leftovers. Um, now it's the week before New Year's. Um, basically still plugging away on the iOS app. Um, I've, it's been quite an awakening. Uh, Apple is so much different than Android or Google in the sense of their environment and how locked down that they keep things and how, how specific they are, even as far as look and feel. Um, Apple's been known for their environment for a long time and they've, they've done a lot. So I'm kind of battling those things. Um, like I said last week, I have the app functioning, um, but I'm at the point where Things that I want to implement, um, such as signing on and um, billing, cannot be done through a virtual device. I need a handheld. Um, somewhere in this house, I have an iPhone 6 um, that I'm trying to track down, and I'm thinking that will help me. Um, but I really want to push, uh, push this app to the App Store, um, get you guys as testers. Um, so soon, hopefully soon, I'll be asking you guys for email addresses uh, to add you as testers. Um, I've been plugging away daily, um, consumed by it, um, and it's it's just been a more arduous task than I than I initially expected. Um, but bear with me. Um, for those of you on the Android version, uh, it's as far as I know, still working well. Uh, you guys are still using it. I still see volume coming through. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I know Alan's using it daily. Um, I know there are some others that are using it daily, uh, but if you haven't had the opportunity to get the app, um, definitely go get it. It is worth the, month, the weekly or the monthly subscription. And at this point, it's even worth uh, going to Walmart and getting a $30 Samsung phone or Android phone to be able to use that app. Um, if anything, it'll get you used to how the app functions while I develop the iOS version. Um, and like I said, you know, I've been hoping to get the iOS version out for a week, two weeks, three weeks. Um, I'm still plugging away daily. Um, but in the meantime, I think it would benefit you to go out, if you're an iPhone user, benefit you to go out, get a, a cheap Android phone that you can download this Android app on, because um, it'll help you. It, it will, it, it's, a, it's an amazing tool that you can use to trade. So um, I haven't been trading much lately. Um, I think Alan has, um, and I'm Hoping that Alan kind of wants to share some of his trades or some of his ideas, um, where he's at in the market and um, how he's doing. So, Alan? Yeah, let me uh, talk about a couple of them today. Um, today was an interesting day. I did well, but I got faked out by the market on a couple points. 
the the first thing is is that I expected a little bit more of a rally and it faded at 10 a.m. If I were to sell Snap, Rite Aid, calls when the app told me to do it and I would have sold it at 10 a.m., I think I would have made around two, 3,000. And um, I, 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 I goofed up. I, uh, I held it to about 10.30. I took a uh, broke even and I'm like, you know, why? And you, you get it in your mind that we're rallying and we're not. And um, key times, um, I have it in my book, but you know, you get it in your mind. In the book, you just sell at 10, sell, sell at 10 a.m. Yeah, and here's Snap where that, yeah. and you'll see it a lot. You'll see it on Snap, you'll see it on Google. Yeah, uh, thanks for bringing that. And then uh, uh, another one, Exxon Mobil. Uh, it's actually interesting stuff because uh, it was very interesting because everything started up. See it, it, it dropped, tried to reverse. It was at its high at 10 a.m. And then it was just all down for the rest of the day. Um, now I got in on the, the second reversal basically. Um, and the thing is I had to sell for a small loss. I'm like, what the heck? And then my next trade was Google. Chat was a good one. Um, all uh, you can see, this is a beautiful five, five minute. But you know, I'll be honest with you. I mean, my mindset wasn't right today. I thought we were going to go up. I I was watching the Dow. We we're like 100 points up, 200 points up, and then like you know, uh, and we still stayed up pretty well for the day. Uh, you see, I, I don't know what was up, but it certainly wasn't uh, Google. <laughs> yeah, and I was in MU to, today too. Uh, bring up MU. Yeah, you know, one of the worst things to have is a, a conviction, and and stick with that conviction when other, when everything else is telling you you're wrong or you have the wrong mentality. That that one I was in a really good position. I went ahead and um, um, the, uh, it's a very interesting um, thing that uh, that one hit the, the low at 1222. I don't know why, but I find that in general, um, the way the market works is it works in twos. So like the high of the day will be 122 or 222. The low of the day will be 1222. The high of the day will be sometimes 1122. So the way this stuff works is that uh, it's all computerized. But the issue is if I would have sold there, I would have made really good money. But I, I, I let, I sold it. If you, if you go ahead and put the five minute low down. Uh, draw. Draw, and you click, and then you hit the bottom one. See, I really thought it was gonna bounce off of that. And then I sold um, right, right where it was crossed, got back out. But, you know, uh, I thought MU was going to stay down all day, and it did. So it was just a, um, you know, uh, uh, just kind of a crummy day because um, it, it was very up and down. So, yeah, uh, my thoughts tomorrow, I think we go down. Well, I hope that helped you a little bit. Um, uh, talking to Daniel Gomez, um, actually, um, uh, and taking his course right now, very gifted, very knowledgeable, very good. I recommend him as coachless. Um, you cannot get enough of this guy, is uh, Gary Cassie, uh, Faith Hunt. Wife Drenda, Shark Proof, um, Financial Revolution. Um, somebody that wants to go where you have been or you want to go, you got to go ahead and um, get everything they have. You say, how much does it cost? I don't care. 
Because the issue is, is that I want to know what he knows. What I like about Gary, this guy was more broke than I've ever met anybody broke. I mean, this guy was just, and he puts it in his book that he's a millionaire. And um, the, and I know he is because I've met him several times. Um, the, uh, um, he, he literally was so thousands of thousands of dollars in debt driving a vehicle uh it blew up on him literally it caught fire he had no money they were going to put him in jail because he owed the bank twenty five hundred dollars and he had no way to pay it and um uh he went ahead and gave his his uh his he said god i i just can't go any further i don't know what to do i need your help and um he says i gotta pay this twenty five hundred dollars off and you know help me and so um uh, as he's driving along, his car catches on fire. The insurance gives him $4,500 for the car. <laughs> and so he ends up going ahead and paying the bank uh, instead of going to jail. Um, but um, it, it's just, he's figured it out. I mean, he's literally figured it out. You go ahead and read his books and he's figured out how to go ahead and succeed. And um, I just think it's it's uh, super cool. So, um, but that's Gary Cassi and then Daniel Gomez, which has several books out himself. And then obviously I have some books. So, um, but yeah. And um, I don't I don't think it matters who you are. You know, uh, one of my interesting people that I'm talking to right now is before I got on this conversation was my. Uh, my cousin, I won't say his name, and uh, uh, he's homeless living in a car. <laughs> yeah. Star player, you know, uh, football player, all this stuff. And it's like, how did you get there? It doesn't matter how you get there. I just, you know, but I've been working with him, trying to get him out of it. And the issue is, is that I believe 100% a year from now, he's going to be successful have a nice place to live um but i sent him my book my uh, jewish journey my uh, um the uh, jewish secret uh the options book and so uh, yeah i think i think it's going to help him a lot so yeah yeah so on a couple tangents today but i showed you my I did very well on Google. It's my stupidity. I like I was going to rally like I did yesterday. Nope. It was a sell off all day after 10. <laughs> right, Brian? Right, exactly. The group. Have a good night. Have a great um, uh, first of the year, uh, New Year's Day. Uh, enjoy yourself, be safe, and I hope next year is the best year you ever have. Favor and blessings. Right. Be better than this year. Just keep improving. So thank you, everyone, and um, we'll see you in the new year.